My name is Dr. Larry Calderon, your host for the NSU Video Forum. Today's edition is entitled, Improving the Lives of Others, Making a Difference. From the very beginning, Nova Southeast University has embraced science and technology as a way of enhancing the educational experience. Today, aided by millions of dollars in outside funding, NSU researchers are at the leading edge of scientific breakthroughs on many fronts. More than 150 research projects are currently underway, including anti-cancer therapies, coral reef restoration, stem cells, and debilitating illnesses. We have always been, in the last 48 years, a teaching institution. But for the first time in our history, we have now included research as a major component. Hear from NSU researchers who will share how their research is making a difference both today and for the future. We are interested in global change, global climate and environmental change and how that affects the ocean. In particular, how it affects the demography and persistence of key organisms like corals in reefs. It might sound a little bit strange, but coral reefs are a major economic factor. In the three South Florida counties that are adjacent to the uh, Southeast Florida reef complex, which is our reefs here, that would be Martin, Broward and Dade. These reefs, or the use of these reefs for recreational and commercial uh, purposes generates about six billion dollars a year and around 71,000 jobs depend on them. Hence, if these reefs were to go out of the window, a lot of money would be lost. We are primarily a teaching school, therefore we uh, pride ourselves on providing good teaching and teaching through research opportunities. So we try to have as many students in the labs as we can. Um, having better aquarium facilities will be a huge game changer to the experimental science we can do here. Uh, so one can expect vastly improved uh, scientific output in that respect. As far as my research goes, uh, I actually got to attend this, this January, I got to go to the American Fisheries Society's Southern Division meeting um, in Biloxi, Mississippi to present my research at a conference, a national conference as an undergraduate, which is really unheard of outside of anywhere. I mean, I was one of probably a handful, maybe two or three undergraduates there, and they were really impressed that an undergraduate from Nova Southeastern would be there presenting research at a graduate level um, conference. The laboratory here in Nova Southeastern develops stem cell therapies and what we try and do is regenerate tissues for patients. So we, the main focus of our research is to grow teeth and we can also grow bone and skin and nerves. What we've done so far is work on in vitro studies which means branch top studies then animal studies and looking at how we can regrow teeth in animals and now we're working on clinical trials. There are many places that can do stem cell research but we have the drive, the motivation, we have a supportive administration, we have intelligent students who want to be part of the future of developing new therapies. We are at the forefront of developing these new technologies and we have some partners such as the National Institutes of Health, the Food and Drug Administration, the American Dental Association, and of course other worldwide partners in Japan and France and Germany. And it's very exciting for the faculty, it's very exciting for me, and it's very exciting for our students. They love to be involved in new exciting therapies. The research being done here at Nova Southeastern University is far reaching. It not only affects the lives of people here in South Florida, but all over the world. My laboratory does breast cancer research and we've recently started to do leukemia research as well, childhood leukemia research. Well, we make cell lines. We make new cell lines and cell lines are an immortal culture from a tumor or a tissue that will grow and grow and grow and so that you can perform experiments on it for many years. And we store those cell lines in liquid nitrogen where they can stay for up to a decade. So we are providing those to other laboratories in the country, including where I came from at the University of Pittsburgh, and so that other people can study earlier stages of breast cancer than they're already studying. The cell lines that we develop are completely unique. We are the only lab that has them. We will continue to make more of them. We're working with a group at the Cleveland Clinic now to, to obtain more tumors and more breast tissue to make more cell lines. And we'll be trying to do this now with pediatric leukemia samples from Broward County Hospital. Nova is in a city of very multi-ethnic people. And we are studying as part of our research racial disparity in breast cancer. 
And so it's kind of a perfect place for us in the sense that the patient bases around us in the hospitals in the Fort Lauderdale and the Miami area represent people from all over the world, from all different demographic groups. The other reason that we like NOVA is that NOVA is building research. And our department now has a brand new PhD program for for people that are interested in pharmacology and pharmacokinetics, drug development and drug discovery, and social and behavioral pharmacy as well. So I came to NSU because um, I was offered a really remarkable opportunity. I've done a lot of research over the years in complicated areas that involved a lot of different disciplines working together. And NSU offered me the opportunity to develop an institute where everyone is under the structure of the institute and can work more collaboratively um, as their primary mission instead of as one of the many things that they do. What we did was try to bring our basic science, our clinical science, and our clinical care all together into one entity. We called this the Institute of Neuroimmune Medicine to uh, embrace a, a broader concept than just the work that we've been doing in chronic fatigue syndrome and Gulf War illness. For instance, it wouldn't be unreasonable to study multiple sclerosis here, or autism, or even neurodegenerative disorders like uh, Parkinson's or Al Alzheimer's. So uh, while we're opening the door with chronic fatigue and Gulf War illness, um, we're hoping to see the, the Institute grow and encompass quite a bit more and embrace some of the real focus um, some of the real strengths that are here at NSU. I urge you to take a few moments to listen to the comments from our president, Dr. George Hanbury, and the other important voices on the left side of the screen. We welcome your comments in the spaces below, and thank you for joining us for this edition of the NSU Video Forum.